Secretary Ben Carson joins us tonight. Mr. Secretary, thank you very much for coming on. Thank so, you. as you well know, Congresswoman Maloney called your proposal, quote, despicable. But it's my understanding that it's illegal for illegal aliens to be living in public housing in the first place, is it not? Uh, that's correct. Uh, Section 214 of the Housing and Community Development Act of 1980 specifically states that the Secretary of HUD is prohibited from providing housing assistance to people who are in the country illegally. And uh, what people sometimes don't understand is that we have millions of legal Americans in line waiting for these very scarce resources. What uh, Congresswoman and, and many others also don't realize is that we have provided uh, a mechanism whereby people who are affected, illegals who are affected, and can't find housing, can have delayed action for six months, can, which can be renewed twice for a total of 18 months, which of course is plenty of time for Congress to do its job. So, you know, for them to suggest that I should break, break the law, what is the real implication? That we can just pick and choose the laws we want to enforce and embrace? Of course we feel sympathy for people. Of course we don't want anybody out on the streets. But the real uh, thing that is hurting people is our failure to address this immigration system, the rules that are drawing people here and keeping them here and that are so unfair to American citizens who have been paying taxes and working here. We take in 1.1 million people legally uh, through our immigration system, which is far more than any other country, and uh, let that system work. But it can't work when we have all these perverse incentives which are drawing people here. So we have hundreds of thousands of Americans sleeping outside every night who are homeless, and they're everywhere. Absolutely. And you're telling us that there are many thousands of illegal aliens living at public expense in public housing, and Congress has some concern about what's going to I mean, why would that be a concern at all? Foreign citizens breaking our laws, why wouldn't we spend all of our time and all of our money, all of our energy worrying about Americans who are living on the streets? Well, you would, you would think we would do that. You know, whenever you get on an airplane, uh, in the initial announcements, they say if there's an emergency, your oxygen mask will drop down, put yours on first, and then assist your yeah. neighbor. Obviously, we need to take care of our people. It doesn't mean that we're not compassionate people. It means that we're logical people. And uh, let's take care of our people. I'm very happy. I told uh, Congresswoman and others, if you can find a way that I can legally do what you want me to do, please tell me what it is. I'm all ears. How did she respond? Uh, change the subject, of course. Uh, they don't seem to want to deal with the ideal that Congress is the one who makes the laws. Instead, they rather just say to you, why don't you break the law so that we can feel good about ourselves? Why don't they do their jobs? That's what they were elected to do. The American people have a real choice to make here. They need to decide what kind of people do they want representing us. And uh, it can't just be somebody whose name you recognize. It needs to be people who are willing to roll up their sleeves and do the tough things that need to be done in order for our country to prosper. And when our country is prosperous, I think we can then turn our attention to some of these other countries and see what we can do to help them. But we need to get ours in order first. So Congresswoman Maloney is pressuring you to break the law she is a lawmaker. She could try to change the law. She's not bothering. Uh, isn't that prima facie evidence that she's not a serious person? I mean, that's buffoonish. Well, it, it is very sad. Uh, it, it would be nice if she were the only one. <laughs> but there are, are many who feel that way. And I don't think they've really thought through what's going on. They just allow themselves to be caught up in the moment. And, uh, you know, they want to be popular. And they're not thinking long term about what the impact is of what they're doing. They're not thinking about our children and our grandchildren and what they will have to face. It's just what makes yeah. me look good today. I've noticed. Secretary Ben Carson, thanks very much for that. Thank you, Tucker.